click on file and go down to project and move over and down to set just going to make sure our project folder is set correctly before we get, begin so I'm in exercise files right over here under favorites and I'll click once on the unit 10 project folder and then I'll click choose I'll now go to file and then open scene and I'm going to open up butterfly.mv so here we have our 3D model first thing we need to do is we're going to drag on a Lambert that has a numbered grid on it so we can see how the UVs are looking on this model by default so I'm going to go to window rendering editors hypershade and we'll leave Lambert 1 alone and I'll create a new Lambert it doesn't matter what number it is this Lambert this new Lambert so I'll double click on this new Lambert and I'll rename this to number mat press return over here under common material attributes I'm going to click on this little checkered button right for the color attribute and over here when it says create render node I'm gonna click on file and then over here I'm gonna select that file so it takes me to my source images folder I'm gonna click on this UV number grid you can see here's a a preview of this grid you see the numbers are displaying here and we've also got all these squares so when we drop this onto our model we want to make sure that the shapes are displaying as squares and not rectangles and the numbers are also not distorted okay so I'll hit open right here so we've got that image on this Lambert I'll use my middle mouse button and I'll hold that down and drag it onto the wings and onto the body right here in the middle so I no longer need the hypershade so I'm going to close that over here I don't need the attribute editor so I'm going to click over here to bring up the channel box okay so we're looking at the wings and those look good um, there's no distortion on our image here on either of the wings where I do see the distortion for the UVs is on the body here so that's what we're going to edit we're going to redo the UVs for the body of the butterfly here so let's go to our toolbar over here and I'm gonna click we have our different panel views here I'm gonna click on this two panel view right here I'll drag this over and I think right now I'm gonna close the channel box so we have a little more space this panel on the left hand side I'm gonna go to panels and then go to panel and then go to UV texture editor so if I select the wings you can see because they're this flat surface it lays out very easily the UVs lay out very easily so let's let's go over here and select the the body here and you can see by default our UVs are not looking too good so what we want to do is I want to select basically the body without the antenna or the legs down here so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just hold down the spacebar and I'm gonna switch this panel to the side panel so now I'm just going to right click on the object and go to face and then I want to come in and select the bottom two sections of the legs and then up here I'll select all of the antenna uh, and now I'm gonna hold down the spacebar click right here where it says Maya and then go back to the perspective panel I want to be careful that I do not unselect what I have selected already so you can see down here I only selected the first two sections of the leg and the reason for that is I also um, didn't select the entire antenna here it's a little hard to a little bit hard to select this area here so the reason that I selected just these two sets of faces here is I can go up to select and then go to grow selection region and that just goes all the way up to the the leg where the leg meets the body and also where the antenna meets the head all right so what I want to do is I want to save this selection so I can reselect it very easily so I'm gonna to go to create and then down to sets and then go to quick selection set and we'll call this legs we'll just call it legs that's fine so I'll hit OK 
And now, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the inverse of everything here. So I'm going to go to Edit, Invert Selection. So now, what I have is basically the cylindrical part of the uh, butterfly here. So I'm going to go up to the menu and click on Create UVs and then go down to Cylindrical Mapping. Okay, so now if we look at this cylindrical projection, uh, it's not it's not going along the body here the way that the direction is not what we want. So what I'm going to do is go over here to my attribute editor, and here's our poly cylinder projection right here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate this projection. So I'll go here under projection attributes, and right where it says rotate on the first box, I'm going to type in nine zero, press return to rotate that. So now I've got the projection going around uh, along the, the body right here. And so this is more of what we're looking for. So what I'll do is I'm going to right click on the UVs over here and I'll go to UV and I'm just going to move these up to this corner. So actually I'll right click and go to UVs. I'm going to select all the UVs here now and move them up even further. I'm going to scale them down. So I just hit R for my scale tool. I'm just going to scale them down and kind of put them over here. OK. So now we've kind of got the, we've got the projection on the, the body the, the main part of the projection, we've got it kind of basically set up. So now I'm going to go in and let's see, I'll get rid of the attribute editor. So I'm going to go back to, I'll just click on this to close it. And I'm going to right click, go to object mode. I'm going to go back to that selection that I had before where I had the legs and the antenna. So I'll go to edit and then quick selection set. And I'll go to legs right here. And I'm going to do another projection for these parts of the body. So I'll go up to Create UVs, and then I'm going to go to Planar Mapping, and I'm going to go to the Options box. So right here, I'm going to just see, well, which axis do I want to project along? I want to project along the x-axis, OK? Well, that's what our default settings are. So we're at Bounding Box, x-axis, Keep Image Width Slash Height Ratio. So, well, that's what my default settings are. Yours might be different. If yours are different, change the settings to this, and then just hit Project. And you can see our projection right here is projecting along the x-axis. So we get a profile of the legs and the antenna. So I'm going to take this and move it over. And now we have, let's see, I'll just unselect that. And so now we kind of have to just take a look at the overall body here. So what I'll do is just for now I'm going to select these two, the wings here, and I'll go to display, hide, hide selection. I'll select the uh, body here, hit F to frame it, and now let's just take a look at this. Okay. So I see some distortion on the bottom right here. And I can also see that the seam on our projection is going along the top of the butter butterfly. And what we want to do is we want to put it down here on the bottom. So I'm going to right click on um, this mesh here and go to UV, select all the UVs, and move it over. So now we're right on top of our material here. So you can see as I slide back and forth, the, you, the we're seeing different parts of the image. But you can see that seam that goes along here is not moving. Okay, so we're this is the seam right here that I'm talking about. It it goes if I right click and go to edge, you can see here's the seam. Or I could go to the I could go to the model here, double click on the edge to select the entire edge. 
and here's that seam. So this is where the image breaks. And we want the image to break right here through the middle. Another problem area that we have is on the front. We've got distortion on the front and we've got distortion on the back. So I think we'll start with those two and then we can start working on this mesh here. So I'll go to UVs, select all the UVs here and move it over. And now basically I'm just going to, let's see, I'll um, press down on the spacebar, click uh, where it says Maya and go to the side view here. And I'm going to right click and go to face and select the faces on the back here. And I'll go to create UVs, planar mapping, and I'm going to go to the options box. And I'm going to choose best plane and then hit apply. So here's the, the back here. And I'm just going to move this. Let's see if I can move it up. Nope. I'll right click and go to UVs here and select the whole thing since so I can't move it. I'll just move this up. Oops, didn't get all of them. So another thing you can do is you can select part of the mesh and then with the UV, so I've got two UVs selected here, I can right click, go to select, and then go to select shell. And I'll move this up out of the way. All right. So now I'm going to go to the front over here, right click, go to face, select the faces on the front here, and go to, I'll make sure I'm set to best plane, and I'll project a plane on the front there. Uh, let's see, can I move this? I can move that. I just can't move it along Y. So I will hit Q, right click, go to UVs. I'm going to select just a few of these UVs here, and right click go to select and then select shell. Okay, so I'll move this up. Over here in the side panel, I'm going to hold down the space bar, click on the word Maya right here and go to perspective view. 